Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft World Tour. Today I've got probably the most important World Tour of any game that I'll ever do. This is the Minecraft server. Um, I usually call this just the server world or... For this video I might call it like the quarantine world or something like that because... I made a video about this around six months ago. Saying um... Like five, four years ago today or something like that. And it was December 10th, 2019. That's when the server was created. So yeah, four and a half years old, just about. And me and my friends mostly played on this from when it was created into... I mean, I'll, I can give you like a big rundown of the lore. So if you want to skip ahead, I don't blame you, but like... I'll give you a, a short rundown of it quick, but, um, let's see. We played into the summer of 2020. This was, like, throughout COVID, and we did some dumb things. The server got taken down, quote-unquote deleted. We thought it was gone. And surprise, surprise, come, let's see, how long was it? I don't know, a long time later. Around, it was actually December 20th, I remember the exact day. December 28th. Server owner. It's like, hey, I have a copy. You guys want it? We're like, yeah. So we got it back. There were several chunk errors. Like, a lot of our base was missing. But we patched it up. And continued for the better part of 2021. A little bit in 2022. And then so far afterwards, it's mostly been, like, abandoned. Recently, what I mean recently, a couple months ago. Um... I actually don't know when it was, but it was a couple months ago, I think. Me and my friends played on this again for a little while, for like a day or so. And I did get some uh, 1.20 stuff, like some of the trims. I don't have any of my armor, but I should also bring some Elytra, because gonna be doing a lot of flying. Don't want to be dying. Uh, let's see, is this the one I wanted to look at? Oh, yeah. I went a little bit stupid about the rules. Like, this was technically a kingdom. And I went a little crazy with the rules. And, you know, it's a, it's a good system when, you know, rule number two is you must have a license to sell crack, weed, and other drugs. You don't even know, you don't even need to read anything else to know that, um... Things get a little scuffed here. So I'm not going to elaborate on everything for that sake. Manny's mystery meat stick. Uh, Manny's holy meat stick. That is, that is a quite the enchanted, quite the enchanted sword. Um, we use many plugins on the server. You'll see some like... Do I have any? Um, you'll see, yeah, like mob heads. Like we had a plugin for that. So like there were minecarts. So you could like decapitate minecarts and... Somehow get a mob head for them. So you'll see a lot of mob heads around. A lot of things that used to work that might not work now. But, um... Bumpus and Stumpus. Interesting. But yeah, this is inside my little modern home. This is my, like, personal house. That I've been using for most of the time. I will likely create a timeline of events. Maybe in its own videos sometime farther down the road. Listen, college quite literally starts technically tomorrow. It is 12.41 on the 25th. First day is the 26th, so in around like 30 hours I will be at the college campus for my first day of college. It's very exciting. I'm, I'm actually really excited for it, so I'm just walking through and not even showing things off really. Um, yeah, so this is my kitchen. It is the worst thing you've ever seen. I can guarantee that. I get these cinnamon rolls. These were, like, the little, um, like, when you tie a lead onto a fence post, so when you leash something onto it, you get this, and then you could somehow decapitate that, I think, and get this. So it looks like a cinnamon roll. Lash hitches head. Yeah, there's that. Um, this was a friend's skin. He had, like, the Dio Brando skin from Judges Without Adventure. So, there's, there's a couple of those lying around, which is funny. And down here, things might be a little laggy. There's a lot going on, I'm sorry. Um, I got a lot of stuff down here. Did I not? I thought I had... 
That's right, I brought some cherry saplings, got some mangrove, and I thought there was something else. Oh well. I would like to pop into this world here and there because it's it's actually awesome being back here. Like this is this had such a profound grip on me back uh, back in uh let's see how long ago was it uh, back in yeah 2020 and 2021 2019 as well those two to three years this thing had like absolute control over my life and i was so worried about like whether or not we would like me and my friends would have access to the world whether or not we would see it again because i dumped way more time into this than a lot of other people and this kind of became like my special thing my creation like i built a lot of things and i love it so i do want to kind of immortalize it by making this world tour because it means a lot to me and i would like it if you guys saw it whether or not you like it that's fine i'm not asking you to like it or anything i'm just saying Please, please, I'd like to see if... I would like it if you looked at what I made. But, yeah, um... First weather I've killed. There's a whole bunch of weird things in here. Um, yeah, we had a lot of plugins. MCMMO, the biggest one, we had, like, ore duplicators and stuff. Some crazy stuff. Like, not having it now. Like, I, I've gotten used to playing in the older versions of Minecraft, so I, like, kind of reset my brain when it comes to this, but, like... I got a lot of weird rooms, like unorthodox shapes, like this is my turtle chamber. Um, that goes down into a cave, that's not really very important. Um, yeah, it's not like you really need to keep, keep note of wall. Wall is a big, big deal here. Um, might think I'm Donald Trump the way I make my walls. Just kidding. But, um, I've done a lot, and you'll see, I've built a lot of things. Taking a quick peek at the statistics, I'm um, kind of got, got to flex a little, you know how it is. This has reset several times, at least on like two or three occasions. Um, so I know I have at least a month worth of time, like 20, you know, around 30 days worth of time prior to what you're seeing here so this is all its own thing damage dealt 121,000 that's pretty interesting but down here where is it so I played 27.51 days yeah it's this I think has not reset since like we got the server back so this has remained roughly the same like this is like the reset point was around then so from then like December 28th, 2020, I think this is from then. But prior to then, there's another month. So I probably got at least like... 1,500-ish hours in this world. Definitely more, I can guarantee you that. And there's like, the, you know, basic statistics and like all that. Um, I used to have some crazy stone brick numbers. Now a lot of this isn't really going to be... Visible. Was it just there? Infested in there. Kind of want to flex on them. Where's um? Where is it? There's something with forty thousand. Sand. Um, I guess it's not the most important thing. I mined a hundred thousand. Another wreck. That's interesting. Oh, right, and there's a couple screenshots. Or not screenshots, maps. Um, random maps that, like, reset and, like, go back to old places. So this might be the world spawn, which I will take you guys there. Later on. But, here is our total base. For, well, not total. For the most part, this is everything. But uh, taking a step outside here, there's going to be a lot to look at. Um, I'd like to just briefly go through things, because there is just going to be so, so much. Um, so, yeah, this is my base. 
We have American flags around here because around around the time we were playing on this the second time around, so 2021, I think, we were like really big into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 7. So funny, Valentine, he used the American flag to like, you know, disappear and whatnot. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I think that's it. Um, Dirt Tower made, yeah, on the 18th of December, 2019. It's pretty old. I remember. It's weird because I remember, like, building this. This is what we call the monastery. Um, it's weird because I remember building this whole thing. And it was so long ago, but I still remember it. Clear as day. Um... Which, hopefully, me recording this allows me to, like, kind of put that in the past and finally be like, I recorded a video about it. I don't have to worry about remembering every single detail anymore. It's all behind me. Because, I mean, last time I thought about this was probably a couple of weeks ago, months ago, maybe. Or, well, days ago, maybe, because, like, every now and then I think about it. But, like, I don't really dwell on it for too long. Because it's something that's, like, not important to me as much. It is still important, but it's not something I think about all the time. Anyway, enough of me yapping. Here is our animal pen. One of the plugins allowed us to create these weird custom tree things with, like, fruit, tomato. You might see them around. Um, music's getting pretty intense. Anyway. Here's a friend's base. I'm not really gonna go like too into their names because like to protect people's names. Right. Yeah, and I'm gonna kind of go past a couple things here because it's like it's tacky to say it like, in a nice way. It's like do I do I particularly like some of the things I'm seeing? No, but they exist. And they're part of. They have history to them. It's like I don't know. So does this, um, is there a day counter that I can see on the left? There might be. If you know where it is, it's probably on the left somewhere or on the right. I don't even know anymore. But yeah. This is a little chicken thing. This is the Death Star. This is where a friend used to live. Going up here. This is pretty vacant. And the funny thing is, we had a land claim plugin, so I can just ransack people's stuff. I don't particularly think I'm going to, but I can if I really cared. But, yeah, this is just... Largely hasn't been touched since that friend left. Um, there's, um, we're not going to talk about those two things. In my defense, I did not make some of these things. So, that's all I'll say. I'll just say some some things I did not choose to do. But, they exist. That's all I can say. You draw your own conclusions, okay? Now, going back down here, let's see. Where was I going to look? I suppose we can go here. So this is where a friend's base used to be. Um, this friend, completely different from all the other ones here. Like, this friend doesn't have a current base like anywhere else. Are you serious? But, a lot of history took place right here. And it's very important, so. Let me very quickly. You know, I'm going to pop into the monastery quick. I might as well do a tour of this now, I guess, because I'm already in here. But... So the minecart noises, they get annoying. Let's turn down friendly creatures. So, there's a lot of odd objects here. But this, this is where I spent so many hours. My goodness, it is... It hurts. Knowing how much time I spent here. Like, you know... 1,500, it's a decent amount of hours. 
And that's at the very least. That's at the like the smaller end of things. That's like I you know I have at least that much because there's around 700 hours in a month. Thanks, something like that. So yeah. Anyway, going past all these storage, here's our Nether portal. I haven't gone back in here. I think it was reset, so there's nothing really to see. But actually, you know, I'll go through quick. I'm curious to actually see whether or not there is stuff. Okay, there is. Very interesting. So this, this is what this looks like. Um, after, of course, it was reset for like the third time. I had another monastery, which actually wasn't too bad. Um, I missed that. The original one I made. I think I made it. I was working on a second one. I might make a third. Probably not. I don't think I'll really touch this world, but it's nice to have. Um, heading on over here, because it's just the odd extension to the side you've probably seen. This is our villager trading hall. You know, all all modern Minecrafters need their, their exploitation. They need to exploit the, the weak. And I have, I think for the most part, every enchantment. Oh yeah, and we were able to like give them player heads. Minion. So this guy's a zombie. Um, this guy's got the short head, yeah, dragon head. That's a silverfish head. Chad. Yeah, they've got some, they got some player heads on. This guy's got a Steve head, I'm not even sure how. But, um, yeah, there's this, this is not the most interesting place on earth, but Okay, I'm drawing a blank on how many floors this has. I think it's like 30-something. It's a tall building. This is the first floor. This took me a long time to build. And like I said earlier about the rules, I hate the fact that this all happened now. But like, this this was his own thing. And like, I was very stupid about it. And very annoying. Like, are you going to pay your taxes? Yeah, I... There's a lot of things I'm annoyed at myself for for doing, but like, this is one of the big ones. Yeah, but you can see, roll number two, you must have a license to sell crack weed or other drugs. So there's that. Um, communism is strictly forbidden. Yeah, weird stuff like that. Like, yeah, let's, let's brush past that. That's not very cool. But yes, here we are into the apiary slash farm, where I got my bees. I say my the world is on my computer but this was our area like the monastery was our community center i guess you could say like this is our community storage um for a long time we all shared objects through here and we all we all we all had our own like diamond stash i think to ourselves and stuff actually no it was like right here or something. it was like right here right here i think it was right here that we had like all our diamonds and stuff and then when the top was finally finished, that's when, that's when like we did the, the government crap. Down here, basement level one. Got some things. This is a fishing farm. Why aren't these in, are in there? I don't know. Don't ask too many questions. This is like a drainage thing. I wanted to make an underground um, canal area and I do actually have it somewhere I have to find it uh, sugarcane farm that's working away quite diligently got our smelters which are most efficient there used to be um, a villager carrot farm thing down here which I took out because I started making a much bigger one farther away here is our map and it's usually better with like connected textures but you can see do I have a uh, spyglass? The, the little thing? I don't think I do. But, yeah, you can see there's a lot of stuff. This is like the industrial area, we consider it. Um, our main area. Um, over here, this is the guardian farm I was making. I like that a lot. 
And over here, this is like an area my friend was making. Um, I think it was like an oil rig or something. I can't remember. It's been a long time. But, yeah. Those are the basic things. Oh, what were we going to make over here? I don't remember. Also, over here, this was going to be like a paradise island. Like, we were going to make a whole bunch of stuff over here. Like, actually make, like, a resort. Like, and actually lock in, as we would call it. Stone generators. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, whatever this is. I'm not really sure. The floor design looks pretty cool, though. I'm gonna be honest. I like it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this is our train station. You can go several directions. Um... Yeah, there's that. Over here, this is like the underground canal. This goes out into our harbor. There's a cat here. But yeah, this goes out into the harbor, which I will show you the harbor later. I love the harbor. It's like a nice little cozy area. Oh, oh dear. Let's just walk away. Oh, and I forgot. We have the sewers and the buggy thing down here. I think we went back an update, so like blocks existed here and we kind of deleted them. Not intentionally, of course, but like to try to keep the integrity of the world intact or whatever. That happened. There's this, I'm not too, I haven't been down here in a while. Oh, hello. I forgot the bats look like that now. But yeah, this was going to be like a, a sewer system that would connect essentially most buildings. Pretty neat idea, I think, but like... Oh, this is where Lycan was, that's what. So we went from probably 1.17 back to 1.16 or something. And it broke some stuff, maybe. Hey, I don't think this even really goes anywhere, it's just down here. But like... It's something cool, at least I think it's kind of cool, of an idea at least, to have like an underground network secret that many people don't know about. But yeah, it's down here. Not very secret now, please. Music's a little intense, don't you think? Anyway, going back up here, yeah, I don't even know what basement level that was. One, two, three. So basement level three of the monastery. The monastery is a misnomer. A monastery is a place where you practice religion. You do not practice religion here. This is just a community hub. Um, just wanted to point that out for those who actually know what the word means. But yeah, this is the third floor. Because like this little area down here is technically its own floor. Which I never thought about. That's weird. This is like the lobby down there. Anyway, we had a prison on the third floor, and I think for the couple floors, like, up. Yeah. So, like, this large structure, I don't really know what this is meant for. It's just, it's just here. Um, ooh, wow, I forgot this area looked like this. That's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, that's what this thing is. This weird thing. Why does it look like this? I'm not really sure. Don't ask too many questions. This was a long time ago. Um, this is entirely made by me, but I don't remember exactly why I made something. Anyway, going up, the, it's just a whole bunch of floors of the tower. It's tall. It's really tall. You saw how tall it was. There's a lot of floors, and most of them have nothing on them. So anyway, up here on the 39th floor, that's right. So it does have 40 something floors. Um, and I was gonna make this taller because, you know, 1.18 or whatever it was made the world height go up. But lost interest. Plus, the world didn't really run too well. Um, so we didn't really play in 1.18. Oh, yeah, that's just like an observation area. The map used to be right there. But we moved it underground to, like, expand it. Um, I like this area up here. It's pretty comfy, cozy, all of the above. This is where we did all our, like, stuff. This is my room. 
I was technically the leader here. Now looking back, it's just cringe. It's like, eh, really? That's empty. There's these. I like this. Like, there's this little part here. And you can, like, technically go through into different rooms through there. I, I like this. Small things like this. And this is our uh, meeting room. We would collect taxes, do our, do our business. We had a couple meetings up here, and it was, it was kind of fun playing government until, you know, the obvious things kicked in. It's like, but why are we doing this? It's Minecraft. We, we, we kind of do this stuff to escape reality, not relive it through the lens of Minecraft. You know what I mean? So we gave up on that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Just put start some torches up here because that's a little dark. All right, so we're at the top here. Now let's get started on some other buildings, huh? I don't know how long I've been recording, and that's a little ominous because I should probably know, and I don't. So let's just keep going. So shh, don't look at the time. I think I've been recording a half hour. That's a <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. I hope I don't have to split this up into parts. I don't think I will. This is the Melon Chapel. My friend, Al I was about to say his name. Some people probably wouldn't mind their names being said, but yeah, friend made this one. There's gonna be a lot of me saying like, oh, friend made this, a friend made that. Um, And I like to number them off, but that'd feel a little weird. You're like, oh, friend one did this, friend two did that, friend four did this. Oh, we don't talk, we don't talk about, um, that over there. That's another thing. Oh, especially that over there. But, yeah. I don't, I didn't go in here, but this is a friend's house. Ooh. There's a noise for you walking on bones. So, yeah, this friend had a, a system called Bine. Uh, another day we'll talk about Bine, the good old Bine. Underground, I'm just gonna give a sneak peek. Kind of, uh, expose everyone's secrets, go through everyone's houses. Just a brief look. I don't want to be here all day, or all night, actually. It's 1.05 in the morning for me. And I'd like to just at least have this recorded, maybe edit it in the morning, start uploading it. While I'm out doing stuff throughout the day. Oops. And this was like a minecart track line that this friend built to like send stuff all the way over to his, um... Huh. Sorry about that. How do you on quick? To his, uh, like, oil rig over there. That, that thing. Um, so this is another friend's base. How much do I really want to show? Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's there's some interesting. <laughs> the, yeah, that was around the time when uh, Montero came out that music video, and it was a little um, interesting, you could say. This used to be a clock tower. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, oh well. Time to go back down. Anyway, um. Yeah, this is another, this is the, oh, another friend's base. Just gonna quickly go through. I think this is one of. This is a pretty nice looking base. I like it. At least underground. Take a look down here. Got some neat designs. Storage is pretty neat. Like the snowflake thing on the floor is cool. Got villagers down here. Overall, pretty nice base. If I were to rate it, I don't know whatever. I'm not gonna rate my friends' houses. Um, this is another friend's house. Take a quick peek in here. Ouch. Um, if, if you are one of my friends and you're watching this video, if you'd like, you could, like, probably put a timestamp in this video somewhere. Be like, hey, I'm the friend you were talking about. Um, just, like, ping, point out the time where, like, I look at your house or something. 
if you happen to ever see this. This is um, something I've wanted to do for a long time, but never really had the opportunity to because, you know, it's, it's not on the server. It's just me in the world. So I have my own opportunity to do this. But yeah, this is a little loud, but yeah, and here there's this. Um, ouch. So this was going to be the large harbor. I was going to essentially redo this whole area. And I wanted to make this massive, like, galleon ship. Uh, I wanted to make a whole bunch of stuff here. Which, never really had the chance to, unfortunately. Um, but that's what the plan was for that. Another friend was going to make this, uh, another casino. There's two casinos. This is going to be the second one. First one is right there. This casino belongs to the person here. Who was the person who hosted the server. Um, the second time around. Not Frank. Okay, I guess I can call him Frank. I probably mentioned his name. Yeah, Frank. I think it's a little bit vague as well. Oh, well. Yeah, Frank was the guy that uh, originally hosted. Probably pretty hard to find his actual... I think I'm stressing too much about it. Anyway, um, me and my friends were absolute brats. <laughs> awful, awful, awful. But this was going to be like a grocery store or something, I think. Uh, this is another friend's house. This friend barely played on the server. Um, but yeah, this house is pretty spacious, pretty nice. going to give a quick look through it. It's, I mean, pretty empty right now. This person, who actually has plans to host this server again, which is interesting because I, if I have enough time, I'd like to play on it again. Um, with college, that might be asking a bit much, but I think it'd be nice to have this hosted again because it's nice. I like this world. There's a lot to look at. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of look around quick. So one of the one of the melon juice, right? So one of the things, one of the um, what do you call them? Plugins that we had was one called Slime Fun. That added like some quirky little machines, and mm, for the most part, a lot of us didn't really like it. It was goofy. But, yeah, they, they exist. Hunter claim land by Big Scary. Here's Slime Fun. So there's that. And, yeah, we had, like, a land claim plugin. So there were these, like, plots you can buy for the government. All that stuff. Here's a little, uh, garden. That's nice. Um, going over here. Yeah, this is going to be something. I really do wish a lot of the stuff was finished, but... I've mentioned this before, don't take on too many projects, it's just the same as having too little to do, like it is overwhelming, it kills your ambition. Um, that's how I kind of lost interest in this world. I had a book, I don't know where the book went, I might. it might be over at the, the Guardian farm, but like I, I had 70 something things to do, which is insane. I'd say never make a list that long if you're going to plan out things to do. But I originally had like a design made and I took it all apart. So I wanted to like, I think redo all of this. But this is going to be like a PvP arena, which I thought would have been so fun. Um, and let's go on over here. To... This is our, like, little nature reserve, which I think is pretty nice. I'm going to take a little walk around here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like this area a lot. It's, like, this little nook in the corner. And we were going to make it, like, way more grown, like, overgrown. Put some vines up here. Make, like, a big tree canopy and stuff. And, like, you just saw, like, our path really ended right there. Because this is the part of the world, or the part of... Oh, yeah, also, I built this whole wall. This is the wall I was talking about earlier. But this whole area over here was kind of like untouched by us for the most part. So we're like, well, we want to turn this into like a nature area. 
a pretty natural cool area so yes one, one when 1.17 1. happened i think did some of this i don't know my memory's fuzzy i remember something going on here and yeah got some roots some dripstone and yeah kind of as here but cool right i think it's awesome doing the stuff like this and there's i think this is a pretty neat thing there's like a little drain that goes outside you know like flows outside the wall that's pretty cool huh anyway um yeah this is the the extent of this area i think not a whole lot so let's go up. we're gonna get to that later but this was some like iosauron thing from like i'm not even gonna try to name what it was from is it lord of the rings game of thrones something like that i'm sorry i don't remember one of those a friend, the friend who built the casino, which, oh yes, I'll get into that in a second. But that same friend built this, which is going to have, you know, the eye on the top. But as you can see, a lot of the wall is unfinished. I would like to finish it someday, believe me. Because, like, that was something I started almost five years ago. And I would like to, in my mind, I think that would be the final send-off at the very least to actually finish the wall. Um, yeah. Can't go up here. There's a vault downstairs, and we'll take a look in, in there in a second. But this is the casino where we did all our gambling. And it was pretty fun. It was like roulette stuff. Like the golden one. Oh dear, out of order. Um, yeah. Oh, this is where the notorious gamble was made. Oh, wait, there's an upstairs? Oh, that's right, because there was going to be like a hotel up here. That's cool. Um, but yeah, there was this like guessing game where like you'd have three blocks of grass and the dealer or whatever would bone meal the middle one and you'd have to like bet on which one would be have like a piece of grass or like a flower and if you bet correctly, you would get like a big return back. So another friend bet like 40 something diamond blocks and got I think one and a half times multiplier and there was there was quite a lot of words said there was a lot of arguments had about hey I can't I can't pay this oh you scammed me all this <laughs> it was really funny and uh, a lot of good times going down here this is the vault and I, I looked around the, the world a lot previously so I know where a lot of this stuff is um, but yeah, cool vault. Yeah, like the bulk items are in the side one, netherite ones. Because people buy netherite. Bro made a lot of diamonds, let's just say. So, heading on out. Let's see, what do we have next? I think that is everything inside the walls, which. If I'm saying this almost 40 minutes into the video, that's ominous. That's not good. Gotta get on. Oh my goodness. No, I'm not even close. Oh my goodness. I've done like this two, uh, two thirds, maybe half. Oh my goodness. I'm slacking. Okay, so this was another friend's base. So yeah, he had this whole area inside a secondary set of walls. This was like when we had the government ranks. He was the Secretary of War. So he had like this compound here, which I think is pretty cool. Um, since the land claim plugin doesn't work anymore, his house burned down. This was a forge, which is a shame. But yeah, let's, I guess go in here because you know, I'm, I'm ransacking everyone's homes. The video is going to be long. I'm in as well, right? Um, going down here. So, nicely sorted. I do appreciate a nice sorted chest area. Um, this was down into mine. I like seeing what other friends built, because it's cool. I don't want to linger too long. Because, you know, I have a lot to look at.
Oh yeah, and if you see gold shovels, those are used for the land claim plugin. To, like protect our areas and stuff. But yeah, that's that. Um man. Still so much to go through. There is a hole in the wall over here that goes outside, which Actually, you know what? While I'm over on this side, let's go through it so I can quickly, like, peek out and show you what's up. So, the wall is entirely hollow. It's not solid. There's, like, gaps and stuff. I was going to make it entirely filled with obsidian, which would have been a Herculean feat. Believe me, because I wanted to make it, like, blast-proof. So, and that relates to an incident that happened, and we'll get to that later. But I wanted to make it entirely blast-proof. So I built it in a certain manner. But this is like a little path out to a lighthouse. Nothing inside the lighthouse. And then there's a boat out here that another friend made. But, like, I like this. This is like a little rocky area. That I built. You're gonna, he you're gonna hear me say that I built quite a lot. Because I built quite a lot. So, cope I guess. But yeah, friend made this. Um, I think it's a kind of kind of in shambles. Ah, but here we are. There's this little view area through the wall. I love it. This is the harbor district, but we're not gonna get down here quite it, quite yet. So this is the main district. This level, like different levels of elevation, were like for the, the different districts, which I really liked. Um, coming over here. This is like a little tent shop with different stuff. I think fireworks were sold here by this individual. And we had a lot of uh, quarrels and stuff. So friends would like undercut each other's prices for things and it was really funny. So another friend has this store. This is for like newer stuff like moss. Um, Magnus sand. I guess I thought... Oh yeah, copper blocks, they're all sold out. Moss, azalea stuff. But yeah, there's that. Taking a stroll in over here. This is... The inn. I think that's what it's called. So yeah. Oh yeah, and I have... <laughs> oh yeah, this is like an area where we can put our own um, advertisements. Which I thought was pretty funny. So this is mine. Get your goodies at Dom's End Shop and General Store. I have two stores here. Um, buy Vine Marrow now at Crack Check. <laughs> Man, I, I love the server. There's so many funny things happen here. This is my end shop. Um, let me know in the comments if you got this far. Also, please like and subscribe if you if you can. Please. I I think you're probably not gonna see me upload too much in the next few months, but. Believe me, it would mean a lot to me if, like, say, you watched this far and also cared enough to maybe be interested in some of the other stuff I do. Um, anyway, on to additional business, but I'm curious. Do you think my 28 diamonds for Elytra, which is enchanted with unbreaking and mending, is too expensive? Please let me know. I've had um, input on that. Also, four diamonds per box. Is that too much? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I would always be selling, because I would go on so many end raid missions, get to so much stuff, and sell elytras and stuff. So, alright. So we're going to be taking a detour. <laughs> this is going to make this video very, very long, but this is very important that you guys hear this. So this is the Odd Cod Monument. The are here, the Odd Cod. You'll never be forgotten. So this is a game we played, and this is a monument I made in commemoration of it. No signs in the back. I don't know why I look back here. But this is very, very important because back in January, there was an incident where the wall was bombed. And essentially, our whole base got blown up. But then we talked to the server owner. I say talked. We kind of whined to him, saying, oh, our whole base got blown up. He reverted the save of the whole world to like a, a hours prior. So that all of it was undone. And there was that. But, like, we were playing, me and a couple of friends, I was chasing them around, smacking them with this cod. And we go outside the wall, what do you know, on the other side of here, which I will go outside of quick, because there's I guess, something tiny to look at. We're going to ignore that again. Among Us. But it was right over there. 
we saw them placing TNT. One of the friends I used to live here, who, like, there was an original trio. Me and two other friends, and one of those friends betrayed us and, you know, made it his mission to essentially blow up all our stuff and steal our diamonds and whatnot. Kind of funny lore. Um, and then he teamed up with his relative. And they blew up our base and like... This was the segment of the wall which at the time was complete for the most part. It was only like half this height, which is kind of crazy to say. But maybe actually less than that. It was like this tall. Maybe that tall? I don't know. Point being, we were playing that game which led us outside, which kind of like led to a whole bunch of events. So it's important in my eyes. Anyway, on to the inn. Me and a friend made this, which I love this. The, the ta no, the tavern is right next to it. So this is the inn. Got a nice chimney. Ooh, wow. Sorry, it's been a long time since I've seen some of this stuff. We got like a little maintenance closet. I like this little like reception area. Ooh, wow. I wonder, do we have any interiors? Please tell me we do. Okay, that is horrible. But some of these are... Oh, man. This is, some of these just make me want to cry. This... No window. Not even a window. No lights out here. Now, I know we didn't finish much, but dang, this is pathetic. There's a lot of unfinished stuff here. I'm sorry. Like this. Come on. Not even a torch on the wall. Anyway, this is like a roasting meat thing. We wanted to have like a big table somewhere, I think. Something going on. But yeah, more stuff here. I forget what some of the stuff was meant to be. But this is the tavern, which me and uh, the same friend who built this were working on. Which, ironically, is also unfinished. Um, but yeah, we he spent a lot of time getting all the hay for the roof. And... Yeah, this is where we have, like, we have a wine cellar down here for all our wine. And, yeah, this is, like, a storage area. Let me see, is there a secret area still down here? There is. Um, around here, this is supposed to be the kitchen. More stuff. Let's see. I'm worried that this video is going on so long. I knew this was going to be long, but I didn't know it was going to be this long. I mean, I should have anticipated this. Two hours? I... Hey, one of my longest videos yet. Let's go. So, yeah, the, the ceiling wasn't connected here, but these are going to be their own rooms. They had very unique room shapes, which is the first time, like, we've ever done that kind of thing. At least I have. Like, going with a lot of diagonals and, like, crude angles. Which was pretty fun because it forced you to be creative when it comes to, like... How things are made. Um, yeah, there used to be bees in there. But uh, there's that. There's a lot of these structures I love. Um, this was just a little house I made. To kind of, like, fill in the area. Like, I wanted there to be, like, a few houses here and there near the harbor. Um, so here, here's this. Which, I will, uh... Go down here. Yeah, and here's the harbor. Gotta ring the bell, just because. So down here, here's the harbor. This ship is way too big to actually get through there, which is why I was probably gonna make that way bigger. Like, tear that out, maybe get rid of that bridge. There were gonna be some renovations, so it could be feasible for a ship of this size to get in here. Because I kind of just made this on a whim, like, hey, I want a ship in here. Which, I think it turned out pretty nice. I should take note of exactly how I made this for when I make um, the 1.1 update airship for my level up series. Whenever I make that. <laughs> However long in the future that is. Um, I, also, you've probably been seeing this banner around. This is the banner of our world. I love it. I use it on my shield, which I have in my pocket here. But there's that. What's this? 
Nothing. Isn't that nice? Oh, but like, okay, that's right. Because, that's right. I remade a buried treasure ship and kind of like spruced it up a bit. That's that's what that was. No wonder it looked pretty nice. So this is like, yeah, well, okay. So in 1.13 forward, there was like the ships that you can find that have buried treasure and stuff. Or the treasure map, or whatever. This is like a recreation of that, essentially in working order too. So that's very nice. I like that. But oh yes, I can even show the the secret. I forgot about that. Uh, in the corner here. Oh. So talking about um inconvenient occurrences, I used to have a copper roof. Now I know I didn't destroy it, but I used to have like. A copper roof here. Um, when 1.17 happened. And... It appears it's been removed. Oh dear. <laughs> My general store, food now, two diamonds each. Cop your loot seeds now. Okay, the text is a little hard to read. I have an animal farm. Oh, and this is... With, when it comes to the guardian farm, I, I did sell a lot of the stuff. And that's actually pretty good. 40 wood items for Oon. I don't know, it's debatable whether or not some of my prices were fair. Sussy Steve. Hey, I thought a lot of this was fun. And I reorganized stuff. Candles and other new things coming soon. This was, I had fun, because this is like a general store. Or you can just buy a whole bunch of stuff. It didn't have a theme, which I I like it when we did theme shops, which I didn't really go along with that for this, but conduit kit. You see, so stuff like this is cool. Oh, I don't have any, I don't even have candles in here for Dark Pearls Marine. In the heyday of this server, I was able to get things stocked pretty fast because remember there are plugins that made things a little smoother. Things didn't break. <laughs> yeah, so this is the buying store. This is uh, the quote-unquote crack shack. I ignore the uh, the trees going up there. Those are called big busters. We've coined that term from the uh, slime fun mod. Big busters. Dang. That's a long time ago. So yeah, there's... um. Yeah, you have to exchange diamonds for buying to buy stuff from the shop. Because we were going to have, like, a central currency. Um, this, this friend pitched this central currency. And was uh, ridiculed for it by, uh, essentially everyone. I feel bad. But it, it's all a good, good, good fun. Because we, we have good fun here. I like it. Um, what is this? I think this is like an enchanting store. Going up here, yeah. Oh, an amethyst thing. Mm, you see, certain chunks, it seems, have like had their 1.17 things deleted because there's no way you can get a floating torch like that. Um, but yeah, here's that. Like a wizard tower. I like it. Anyway. Going over here. Yeah, these are more of those funny trees. Okay, this was a fun store that a friend made. So you can buy things like rockets, which was under... Un, uh, is it undercutting? Something like that. That's the term. Uh, the price is over there. And then there was this mystery box thing. 32 diamonds per mystery box. You can't right click on it and see what's in there. So like you pay money and then find out like what your box gives you. I would always get some profit because this individual would have to buy shulker boxes from me. So at the very least. Oh, and a couple of them have elytras. So I would be making some profit. And that was very awesome. I love it. So I was always having a good time at least. This player head is pretty neat. 
Over here, this was a horse farm. This was gonna be like a place where you buy horses. We were gonna, me and a friend were gonna engineer the perfect horse and then sell them. Um, going underneath, I don't think we have a very nice way in, unfortunately. But, yeah. Actually, we do. Is there? I don't know if we have a good way out. Ah, whatever. Anyway. What this is, is a secret laboratory, which me and a friend are making. And I... I wish this went somewhere, because it would have been so cool if it actually got finished. But it's like a future lab. We're gonna have like all sorts of sciencey things here. Um, this goes underwater, so it's like not super discreet. This is gonna be uh, a certain room. And I can't remember if we actually made... Made it. I guess we didn't. But there was gonna be like a secret part where, um... Where you were able to- oh my goodness. Oh uh. uh, yeah, there was gonna be a secret area where you could essentially, um... Look into the harbor down here. So like, I'm actually not too sure if it actually exists. It might be like, a myth. Should be some glass down here. If, if I remember right. Which looks like I don't. That's okay. There's gonna be like a secret room where we could observe like the marine life in the harbor. But, alright. I think this time, oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't even cover. Over there. This is gonna be a long world tour. I'm sorry, this is so long. I wanna cover these things off. Here is the desert village me and a friend were making. The same friend who I was working on the secret laboratory with. This is a pyramid. I think this looks pretty cool. This turned out awesome, I think. I need to be taking notes. I don't know if there's anything in there. Do I feel like breaking it open? Not really. Um, there's a lot of stuff over that way. I kind of don't want to just go and explore outer areas until I've done all of the inner stuff. I just wanted to quickly note that before I got carried away, because I gotta still explain this area a little. Which I don't think I've been out here yet to explain this. So the server owner Frank actually did want to build something in her base, which I thought was cool. But that's there. We have a tree farm right here. Um, this is like a big forest. I think there's like a secret house in that tree. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, this was inside the passageway for the... Um... The Underground Railroad I was making. That's interesting. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just getting distracted at this point. Um... This. This is a mob farm. Using many of the, um, plugins, yeah, you can hear some blazes in there. We had one that allows Silk Touch to pick up spawners, and we utilize that. So there is a blaze spawner at least. Loud. So we got some stuff like that up here. There's some shenanigans taking place. Oh dear. Honky Dong Nintendo. I'm gonna make my leap. This is unenjoyable. But yeah, there's this area. Oh no, pretty nice. I like it. The wall. It's an imposing structure, I think. Um, I was trying to redo the inside as well. This is going to be... Oh. 
Yeah, what exactly this was, I don't know. Um, this is... You know, I guess I might as well explain what this is. I'm not gonna look at it while I explain it, but... This is supposed to be a Titan from Attack on Titan. Which I don't know who's one of them, the Wall Titan. Because... A friend suggested, oh, you know, since I'm making the wall... Like, what if it was from the beginning of the series where, you know, you take... You know, there's the... The Colossal Titan, he kicks the wall. I was like, you know, what? That sounds pretty cool. So he started building it and it didn't finish and he kind of put, um, someone put an object. <laughs> there exists a video and I would like, the video is so funny. My fr Me and a friend are in a call and he adds that extremity to it. And we, we kind of just die laughing for a couple minutes. It's a couple minutes, but it's a while. Oh dear, and there's a pumpkin farm. I don't know. I need to copy this because I need a pumpkin farm for pumpkin pies for at some point in my world. Um, yeah, so coming out here, this was a lot of stuff I'm not too familiar with. Uh, I forget which friend was making this. This was, like, their own. They don't care farm. Because I made my own. I think it was going to be twice the size of this. It's kind of in the opposite direction, but... Um, yeah, over here. I don't remember what this area was going to be. It was going to be, like, some... Some other project. Dang, I even built this bridge. I remember building this. Like, this is... I have, like, dormant memories, like, sleeper agents. I see these things, and I'm like, dang, I remember making that. I don't know what that is. Um, another sugar cane farm. Let's see, up here. This is gonna be a big red block. I don't know why this... This is gonna exist. Villagers nearby? There has to be. I mean, yeah, this is. What's in here? Oh, yeah. Um. Other than that, out here, there's not really a whole lot, I think. There's a chunk here. Oh. There was, um, a scuffle. And. Ooh. Wait, someone was building something here? Oh, I'm curious. This is actually a pretty cool area to build something on. Because this is, you know, it's a forest. An actual forest biome, but it's in the middle of the ocean. Uh, this was chunk air. Um, I, th there was one incident in which I did something quite disagreeable. And the server owner... Oh, here I am ruining things. Anyway, the server owner... Is there a bed over here? Can I sleep? No. Um, yeah, so the server owner used a command and made a sphere of... glass. And this was essentially going to be where all of my friends would live. Because, like, they were mad at me for doing a certain thing, and... Was it a big deal? Debatable. Um... Exactly whether or not I want to speak of this word for word, I don't know, because it's... I usually don't say a lot of these bad words on my channel. This is not what I do. I don't feel super comfortable using those words. You know, just basic curse words. But... I don't know. Some would be needed to describe that. But, moving on, on to, I didn't, I didn't know this was going to be this long of a video. My room's getting hot, my computer's on, it's almost two in the morning. Let's, uh, let's move along swiftly. Ooh, oh yeah, this was a house I was making. There's so many small things I would just, like, trail off and do. That was not something I built, though. Um... Yeah, this is going to be a little house. Let's sleep. I wanted the world to be incredibly lived in, and believe me, it is incredibly lived in. Because there are things like this. What exists down here? Nothing. Why were they reset? Quick charge. That was a castle a friend built. 
the same friend who lived in the Death Star. Now this was going to be Parody Island from Attack on Titan our friend was going to make. Um, tell you what, okay, yeah, this is the Paradise Island. Parody and Paradise. Don't get them confused. Oh yeah, and there was going to be, there's a Guardian Farm that belonged to someone else. But yeah, this is where we were going to make, like, skyscrapers, maybe not skyscrapers, but like, condominiums. All sorts of, like, vacation places. Think about, like, a tropical resort kind of stuff. It was going to be awesome. But that didn't happen. It'd be cool if it did, but a project like this was large, very large. And for the most part, I was the only one working on this, and I am one person working on, like, ten massive things at once. So, yeah, there's that. I'm curious. There's not really anything to the right over there. I know that line continues over that way. I don't think there's anything over there. Um, this is the big thing I was making. The Guardian Farm. So, a very nice individual by the name of Malchris. You might have seen on, like, at the very beginning of the video, I had some commemorative objects for the commem commemoration of Malchris. A very, very nice individual who I made friends with on the server. Not spoken to since the first time it shut down. So, where he is in, in life, not sure. But he's such a nice person. I have some screenshots, and he was saying, like, you guys are my friends, and the smiling face, and I was like, looking back on that, that makes me want to cry, because that's so, that's so nice. Oh my goodness. Alright. Um, yeah, this was, like, a massive project I was working on. Get out of here. There seems to be a little bit of an incident in the nether. There used to be, um, like a proper killing chamber for them in the nether. But since the nether was reset, it kind of broke and you can see they're spilling out of that portal now. But yeah, this is a pretty awesome building. I love this. Um, do I have any stuff here that I might have left behind? I was thinking one of my journals might be left here. Okay, now I'm actually at a loss to where it might be. See, now they're falling down there and they're making a mess. Um, alright. So we're pretty far away from some things. So let's head on back over to the base. The base is not too far away. But we're gonna fly... That way. To go to the side. Because I'm doing this in a weird order because I didn't really have... A good plan of how I was going to do this. If you know, you know what that thing on the, the bottom right is. I'm not going to say it. Like I said earlier, some of these things I do not make. They just exist. Um, right, so this is our technically, you know, industrial district. Um... Oh, that mob farm actually works pretty well. Dang. Um, this is a cobblestone farm. Doesn't really work now. Because a lot of the land claim plugins and, like, grief protection plugins were weird about where, where you could put TNT. Like, how to be below sea level. And in a land claim. It was weird. Or maybe it was outside of land claim. I don't know. So, stuff was so weird about it. Anyway, this is the villager area. That was like my own personal area that I was making. Today I don't care farm, that's essentially it. Um, yeah, I was gonna have a whole bunch of farmers. You could trade for immense amounts of emeralds. Be rich for days, get tons of emerald blocks. All of the goodies you'll ever need. And this is just a mob farm. Now, to do with the slime fun thing, versus Desert Pyramid. Slime fun was, a. Uh... Okay, so the owner, I guess the person who hosted the server the second time, a friend who, you know, owned the first casino over there, he had this whole thing, this whole setup to do things, and, like, it has, like, renamed items, if I can find where they are. 
Yeah, like, this is sugar. But it's called magnesium. Like, all these different things. I wasn't personally a big fan of it. Like, I don't know what the heck any of this does. He was more into that than me. But, like, there was, like, stuff, like, if you were into the end game, you could get tools with, like, efficiency 10, fortune 10, unbreaking 10, weird stuff like that, which would be extremely overpowered and is, like, one of the only incentives for you to invest in it, really, at least in my opinion. But, yeah, he was big into that. Anyway. Oh, this was a pumpkin farm that I made, right? Yeah, I wanted my own pumpkin, so this is mine. I kind of have a lot. I wanted to sell pumpkin pies. So I made pumpkin. This is something that took me a week around Easter. Around Easter 2021, I know that. This is a Shulker Craft Iron Farm. And I know this thing is so good, you can make like an iron block a second. It's crazy. That was when it actually worked. Wait a minute, is there something dying down there? Holy crap. An iron golem actually made its way down here. My redstone's pretty annoying, so I have that. I'm actually surprised this thing summoned something. So yeah, it should be obvi obvious. This thing broke. But I remember building a lot of this. This this area is pretty awesome, I think. There was gonna this was gonna be like a massive foundry. That's like my whole theme for this area. It's gonna be like a massive foundry and like technically the place where you'd like melt iron down into things. But, yeah. So, like, this, there'd be, like, these massive bricks. It's, like, I was going to have all these big tubes going around for, like, machines. Massive things carrying liquid metal. But that was not finished. But I like how things were turning out. Pretty cool. And coming over here, this is the mob farm I have. Like, my massive operation. I have tons of sheep. Both kinds of mushrooms. Rabbits, pigs, chickens, cows. I have more more animals than I know what to do with. And that's one of the many reasons why. If you're over here and the server is running, the whole thing would lag really bad. Because <laughs> I kind of made too much stuff going on. So, yeah, there's that. But... Sorry, I had to, like... Get a quick drink and splice up. I, I just needed to make sure how long, make, make sure I knew how long the video was going for. So, just had to quickly do that. Um, my architecture skills aren't the greatest. I wanted this to be like a brick building, like a very uh, kind of like 1900 style thing, I think. And it does kind of look like that. Like, this was meant to be, like, one of those factories you see in, like, Chicago or something, right? I don't even want... What does this say? Peen. Well, that's nice. But, yeah. That is all of this area. I was going to have something up here. I forget what. I have to think. What was I going to put up there? I was going to put an animal up there. This is a little monument. Huh. How oh, interesting. Now, how far over here is it? There's another friend's base that exists. In this direction. Let me pull out the cords. And I've gone too far, I think. It's this way. That would make sense. Yeah.
this friend wanted to do some exploring and went over this way for his... Yeah, here it is. A little obscure, I know, but it's right here. The wind is rushing past me. So yeah, he lives out here. Pretty secluded area. He's actually really good at building. Just want to say. Also, yeah, there was the death chest plugin, and it seems to have broken, and he has no stuff. Bummer. Um, but yes, he is. My body wants to yawn! Stop it. Anyway, I think fantastic building. He is, like, like I said, very good at building. Like, he he makes Minecraft worlds, like, modern Minecraft worlds all the time, and he just builds things. And some of the stuff looks spectacular. And he's just like, oh, I got bored of that, so I didn't finish it. I made a new world. It's like, but you make such good buildings. Like, you're so good at building. But, um, yeah, let's head on over. This is the right direction? Nope. Yeah. This looks to be it. Oh, wait, I forgot about this. So this is a, um, ink sack farm that I made. I think with a friend, because we needed black dye. Um, this is like in a river. How interesting. I had completely forgotten about this. There's like a lot, a lot of stuff that happens and I forget about. This, I think, happened around 2021 when we were uh, doing online schooling for a little while. Around COVID. I cannot believe that that was a long ago. Also, I do apologize for, like, the month-long hiatus. There's going to be a much longer one following all of this. Um, I'm just saying. I've been busy. I'm going to be very busy. I've had a lot of great things happen in my life. Like, incredible things. And... I I've just been doing other things. So, that's really it. And college starts. I got it. I've been doing stuff for that. So, yeah. Anyway, going back back through here. Quick look through. I don't think I forgot anything inside the base. If I have, I will be mad at myself. So let's go on over here. Ooh, wait. What is this? I this might be. We had like a farm to gather axolotls. I think that might be what that is. Either axolotls or glow squids, because we were like, when all this new stuff came out, you know, we had to farm a lot of it. Okay, so this is where like the big structure is over here. And what exactly he had planned for this, I don't know. You see, I mean, it's very, very easy to see. There's a lot of chunk errors, which is the tragic thing about this world because that ruins the landscape and all that. It's like one of the major reasons why you don't really want to play the game. At least me. Like, this is one of the things that, like, kind of hurt to, like, look at. It's like, uh... It's like, what do you do about that? It's like, okay, what if I want to build something around here? Like, it's kind of like, the area is a little ruined. It's unfortunate that this happens. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna take you on a big journey, all the way back to spawn. We're going. You're coming with me. We're going on a quest. We're going back to spawn. Whip out, whip out, whip out F3 here. I'm gonna go 10,000 blocks. This minecart track was supposed to go all the way back to spawn. And it would have been like the longest minecart track I've ever made. You know, you think my minecart track in the Level Up series is long? Well, that's only about 1,000 blocks long. 10 times that. That's pretty dang long. So. Gotta keep an eye on my durability, so Elytra doesn't break out some more rockets, which is very good. So many chunks ruined, which is a shame. Like, 
got a... There's a couple things I'd like to look at over here, and I'd like to end off the video over here because of said important things over here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna monologue while I fly over here. But yes, if you are enjoying the video, please do like, maybe, if you'd like to, um, perhaps subscribe. I don't do this often, this is like a once in a lifetime thing I can do, like do a world tour of something like this. And this is the, this is kind of why I want to do a whole bunch of video game world tours, because I was thinking of this, I was like, you know what, maybe I'll do some other ones as well, because, you know, I've played a lot of video games. A lot of them might be a little stretch because I've only got a variety of them. Very small ring. Oh, there's the day number 2726. Yeah, no, we had like day 4000 because I mean, these are Minecraft servers up for 20%. 4000, 6000, 10,000. I don't know. We've had a lot of days when the servers were originally hosted. Anyway, um, I'm not sure how I'm still able to yap so much. Like, my voice is going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hopefully sleep quite well. I do have to wake up relatively early, so I like to get to sleep early because college. But I've done this to myself. Oh well. This is something I really wanted to do. We're getting there. We're five thousand blocks away from base. And oh my goodness, there's just animals falling out of the sky. What the heck? That's weird. I have not seen something like that before. Only the mountains are weird colors. Truthfully, I'd love to like go really into depth about everything. But as you can see, I just walking around the world has taken like an hour and a half, I think. So if it's taken that long to just look around at things. Doing like a full in-depth analysis on everything that's happened would take several hours, I think. Or at the very least, two more on top of like what I've already done. Which, don't get me wrong, I love yapping, so believe me, someday I will. But for the time being, I just love to do this. Because be honest i think it's pretty cool to look around at things i've made i i it, i do like to reminisce on these sorts of things and yeah i'm hoping you're enjoying at least to some degree this might not be the most interesting segment of the video but if you are watching or have this in the background on autoplay maybe um a lot of my videos i just yap and I'm very minimalistic when it comes to like editing, so I will usually just do long plays. A little promo for my uh, Minecraft series. Yeah. Which I'd love to do more of, but with college, you know, I'm rarely going to have opportunities, so live streams occasionally are probably going to be mostly what I do. This seems awfully familiar. Maybe not, no. I know somewhere in this direction is the base of Malchris, which Malchris, if you're out there, and if you happen to see this video, I'm going to be amazed. Um, unfortunately, I'm sorry, we kind of ransacked your base a little, because we were kind of, um, I don't know, we, I don't know why we did it, but, because, uh, I guess we're under the pressure, we never see you again, which, I would like to see you again. You sound like a very nice individual. I don't know whatever happened to you, but all I can say is, if you're out there, I'd like to see you again. Talk to you. So, you know, hopefully you're doing well. Um, I've got to be getting close. Come on, that's within like the first thousand blocks of zero zero but it's gotta be I should probably not be doing this blind especially if I want this video to be not like two two hours long at this point but you know what it's it's kind of just happening at this point right So 
Elytra 68. Alright, this is getting a little ominous. We've got to be getting close to spawn, right? I feel like I'd really notice if I missed it. Alright, I'm getting a little worried. Folks, if, if there's a cut in the video, that means I've had to resort to my many, many old pieces of paper that have coordinates written down on it. Because I've lost where I am. The trunks are loading in at a good rate, so I know I'm in areas that people have been in. Which I shouldn't be surprised, because many, many more people than just my, like, immediate friends playing on the server. So I know for sure people play on this, or have played on this. Okay, there's a village. Anything? All right, you know what, for um, for the sake of the integrity of the video, I am going to try to look at my coordinates and locate where the heck uh, a, a nearby structure might be. So, I'll be right back. All right, so it's actually incre incredibly ominous how close I was. Um, I literally just had to fly over this way. Like it was right over there, I was that a second ago. So. My notes come in handy yet again. But, um, up here, you'll notice a bedrock platform. And the server owner who originally hosted this wanted to, like, reboot this at some point and create, um, like, a hub where we could, like, go into different worlds. And that's around the time when, uh, this the summer of 2020, where we eventually raided one of those other ones because the other one was like where the original person who terrorized us was mainly playing on and we blew up his essentially briefed his base back and then so Rona was like you know what enough with this petty stuff you're done you're done so that was the end of that until you know December 20th there's that whole thing so over here this is the important stuff oh yes there's a lot, so. And I'm hoping I can find which direction it was in the, the base. But, um, yeah, here's Malchus's base. A lot of chests. James. Yeah, this was originally a villager, it looks like. A lot of villagers. He's such a nice guy. So, for the most part, I like to keep his stuff intact. There's a mine. Which, man. What could have been if this thing lasted a couple months longer? And he had stayed consistent on it? Hell, if all of us were, you know, normal and didn't do annoying crap. I hate how annoying of a person I was a couple years ago. I was such a pest to this server owner. Um, yeah, he's got a farm up here. And an iron farm. He got a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of the basics. Sugar cane. Then there's an automatic fishing farm. Pumpkin farm. All sorts of things. He was on top of this. That's right, when the chest plug and stuff was, um... Active. I couldn't look through a lot of this. So, like, this... Some of this is my first time looking through some of this. Anyway, over here, this is an individual by the name of, I think, Cole Flint. I'm using the other gamer tags, because I don't know what their actual names are. But this is a pretty interesting base. Ouch. Got some stuff around here. Basement. This is an individual who was relatively active as well. He 
Just get a dock. Oh, this looks pretty nice. I wonder what could have been. I think about this a lot, like, I used to think about it way more, but... Where would we be if this had continued a few more months or years? If, like, still hosted by the original owner? Ooh. I think me as a person, I'd be worse off because I was so attached to this. I needed that period of separation. And I got too attached to this. And I was like, I needed a break. Oh yeah, also he had a volcano. Knockers had a volcano thing he was working on. Okay, so I just want to update you guys quick. Um, I was looking around for quite a while to try to find the thing I was trying to look for. Could not find it, which is a shame. But it was a base. That belonged to the person who, uh, you know, quote unquote terrorized us. And. Yeah. It, I don't remember where it was. And I don't have the most time in the world as of right now, so. Um, like, it's been quite a while since I last recorded. Uh, it is almost 9 p.m. the next day. Technically, the same day I'm, I recorded that. But, point is. It's been a while. I've mended up my stuff. And I'm just back here. And I've been trying to like clean up things. Cause I don't know. Just it's it's odd finally being back here. And I mean of course it feels quite empty without anyone else here, so it's not like something I'd like to really do a whole mu whole bunch on anymore. But you know, it's something I, I like to look back on here and there. And, yeah. I There's there's a lot of things. I, I don't know. This thing, this server's got a lot of history, and it's not something I think I'll ever forget. So, for various reasons, I will always like it. And, yeah, I... Where do I want to end a video like this? Probably in here, actually. So, yeah. That is it for this uh, video. I was almost about to say episode. I was kind of in the rhythm of doing that, even though I haven't recorded an episode in a month. Sorry about that. It's going to be a little while. I'll try when I have the opportunities, but college will take main priority from now on. So... For like the next five years <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching hopefully you did enjoy and hopefully i can catch you guys in the next one Bye bye